Welcome back to Semmeringstraße. In contrast to the second day of the European Maccabi Games, the juniors stood in the focus today. To be precise, the juniors from Israel and Germany. On Tuesday, both teams in the open class lost their games, so today it was interesting to see which team could rely more on the support of their young players. After a few minutes, the answer was already obvious. Germany with the lead, Dean Adinast was successful. But that was it for quite a while. In fact, Israel started their lay-up express and scored one basket after the other. Every attempt of the German team was destroyed before they could succeed. Subsequently, Israel with a considerable lead, 60-15, to 15, the halftime score. The German team had to suspect the worst, but they could improve their game at the beginning of the second half. They still lost the ball quite often and made it easy to score for the team from Israel. But once in a while they reacted successfully. Jan Melnitsky tried it from downtown and made it. Israel did not have to rely on solo actions. They had several guards who made the baskets. In the eyes of Gail Zebach, this was the key to the 120 to 37 success of his team. We won because we played together and uh, we didn't uh, we play as a team. We didn't play uh, everyone as a, as a player uh, by himself. And, uh, That's our secret. Of course, the German Maccabi squad is also a team, but unfortunately one that is not as well practiced as the team from Israel. However, Georg Kokoliev still has his hopes up for the last group match. If we now get a good rest, we might be able to come back tomorrow and win against Great Britain. This match will not be on our show, but we have more basketball on Monday, when a German team encounters one from Israel again. At the Let's Play Together event, players from Alba Berlin and Maccabi Tel Aviv will show off their skills.